There are some phrases church people use, even the Christocentric community, they use those phrases and we need to explain those phrases because if we don't explain them, you'll be thinking what you shouldn't be thinking. Phrases like, you don't give to be blessed. You give because you are blessed. Blessed with what? You don't give to be blessed. You give because you are already blessed. What do you mean by blessed? Because that blessed has to be explained. Otherwise, you'll be thinking materialism. So which means if I, I have not been blessed materially, I don't give. And that cannot be correct. Because the churches in Macedonia gave out of their deep poverty. And the Bible says the riches of their liberality abounded. So that is like an oxymoron. How can a man be in deep poverty and be rich? Which means giving doesn't have to be because you have. It doesn't have to be because you have. It has to be because you are generous. You know people who are generous, they want to give even if they have to pull off their shoe and give to you and walk without shoe because generosity in them drives them. Generous people always find something to give. Always. Those of you that stayed with your parents in the village who were very generous. Nobody comes to the house that is not giving something. Even if it is water, they will make sure you give him. Why? Because there's generosity in that family. They don't have to wait until there is chicken. No, no, no. The little they have, they share. Generosity is not dependent on the balance in your account. It is dependent on the balance in your heart. Generosity is dependent on the balance in your heart. So all that, we don't give to be blessed. We give because we are blessed. We need to explain the blessing. We give because we are blessed. Blessed in the fact that my sins are forgiven. Blessed by the fact that I am accepted by Christ. So I am giving, not motivated by material stuff, but motivated by my love for Jesus. So that's why that word blessed has to be explained. Let me also deal with something. Are you getting blessed this morning? There's another statement that is very porous. <laughs> God blesses you so you can be a blessing. That's another statement we have to deal with. <laughs> very popular statements. God blesses you so you can be a blessing. You know what that's, that's a very dangerous statement and it's porous. You know what that statement is saying? In other words, God gives to Pastor Jerome money so Pastor Jerome can give to Pastor Prince. So it means that God created a class in humanity. Why does God have to give to Pastor Jerome money to give to Prince? If God is giving Jerome money, why can't he give to Prince directly? No, it's a question. Is he afraid of Pastor Prince's glasses? Why wouldn't... Am I communicating? Come, 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 wake up. Remove your religious berets. Why wouldn't God, if he is giving to Pastor Jerome, why wouldn't he at the same time give to Pastor Prince? Is there any difference between the two of them? They are all children of God. So why will God give to Pastor Jerome so that Pastor Jerome can give to Pastor Prince? What kind of... What kind of, so God created class in humanity. Then it will be that God is behind poverty. Then it will be that if you are poor, it's because God doesn't like you. Then it will be that if you are rich, it's because God likes you. Then that begins to challenge the character of God. That means he gives to some people and he improvises some people. He makes some people a, in a class of advantage and others he puts them in a class where, where, they are, where, where they are marginalized. That can be my God. God didn't create class in humanity. 
He makes the rain to fall on the good and on the bad. He makes the sun to shine on the evil and on the righteous. God never created class in, in humanity. He never made people poor and made other people rich. Because that's what it means that I am blessed to be a blessing. When God said to Abraham, blessed to be a blessing, it was no material stuff. The blessing is I have made you righteous by faith. You also preach righteousness by faith so that everybody on earth can become righteous by faith. Am I teaching good here? The blessing is not material stuff. The blessing is righteousness by faith. I am an hour. Romans chapter 4 verse, verse 5. Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 4 verse 5. But to him that walketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Next verse. Even as David also described the blessedness of the man. That's where the blessing is. Unto whom God imputed righteousness without works. So the blessing is that God counts you righteous without performance. So when God says, Abraham... I have blessed you to be a blessing. What God was saying is, Abraham, you'll be justified by faith. So in the same way you're justified by faith, preach the same gospel until all the families of the earth are righteous by faith. I'm talking about money. Blessed to be a blessing. God bless me with two million so I can become the one sustaining others. That's class. That's not God. I'm teaching good this morning. 